All right, let's get your uh, Oculus set up to develop in Unity. We're going to go through 11 steps to get your project ready. But first, we got to launch a project and create one. So let's go down to Unity and create a new project. I'm going to launch Unity and let's get past a little bit of this buffer screen. Bam. There's the prompt to start. This is your project prompt. So let's go up to the top right where you see the new button. I'm going to click on that and we're going to name our project. So in my case, I'm just going to go with Rift Tutorial. So I've typed that in and at the bottom you'll see the Create Project button. I'm going to click on that and this will get our project going. So Unity's now going to create our project. It looks like I already have a project with that name. So let's go Oculus Tutorial. Creating project. It's going to take a second to load. Now we have Unity launched and ready. This is our blank project, nothing inside. We just have that basic scene set up where you have a main camera and directional light in your scene. What we're going to want to do is convert this project and get it ready for virtual reality. So at the top, you're going to want to go to your file button at the very top left. Click on that and scroll down to build settings. We're going to click that third option from the bottom and we're going to see this prompt come up for build settings. You're going to want to go to player settings near the bottom and then the in the inspector window which if you have the default window layout set up you'll see it on the far right here you're going to want to you'll see the xr settings at the bottom you're going to make sure that virtual reality supported is checked off and uh, by default here it does have oculus but if you don't see that hit the plus symbol and then look for oculus in here you should see it as the third option now, now that you have that ready, let's go to the Unity Asset Store and import the Oculus Integration plugin. So, you should see the tab next to your scene. Again, if you this is if you have the default layout. If you do not, right-click on the tab, go to Add Tab, and look for Asset Store. If it's not there in the list there, you can always go to Window at the top and find the Asset Store tab here as well, towards the, towards the middle. So I have it open, I'm going to click on Asset Store, bam, here we are, and you want to search for Oculus Integration. Oculus Integration, typing that into the search bar at the top, and scrolling down, there it is. It's the first option available, so I'm going to click on that, and then you see the, vibe, the Oculus controllers appear, scroll down, you'll see Oculus Integration. Near where it says free, right underneath it, you'll see a download button. In my case, I've already have it downloaded to save us some time. You're going to want to click download. Once it's finished, you'll see the button say import. So you want to click on import. It'll prepare the package. It may take some time. Once that's done, it'll give you another prompt that gives a list of things you can import. So here it is. Leave everything selected. And at the bottom right, you'll see the import button. Click on that and we'll get it going. Now it's going to actually import the package and put it into Unity Editor for you. Once the package is imported, you'll see a prompt come up where it says API update required. Just go at the bottom, you'll see I made a backup go ahead option. Just click on that and it'll finish the import. This package is just so that you can actually develop for Oculus. It provides you with an avatar you can use. So you'll see the controllers in the scene. It'll have the camera set up. So you just click and drag into the scene and bam, you're ready for Oculus development. So the next step, we'll go over how to click and drag those actually into your scene. Step five, once you're done importing, we're gonna move on and get our scene prepared for development. Now, once you're ready and the import is complete, you'll see a bunch of folders appear in your projects tab at the bottom. We wanna navigate to the third folder that says OVR. Double click on that to get into your directory where you can find the folder that says prefabs. You're going to want to click on that and then we're going to go on to step six where we click and drag the camera rig into our scene. So step six, we're looking for these blue cubes. You want the second one from the left, clicking on camera rig. Click and drag camera rig into your hierarchy tab and that will bring it into the scene. Step seven, you'll notice that we have imported a camera into our scene when we put in the camera rig. So we're gonna see that we also have a main camera in the scene by default. You wanna click on the main camera in your hierarchy tab and then press delete to get rid of it. We don't want it interfering with the camera rig that we have put in. 
So you'll have two overlapping cameras. Now once that's done, click on camera rig in your hierarchy tab, and then on the far right in the inspector tab, you'll see a bunch of properties enabled. Now the way we want to set up is to have our camera rig relative to the floor. So what we're going to do is, in the inspector window, we're going to look for the OVR manager component. If you click on OVR manager, you'll notice that all of its properties are listed below. Now within it, we're going to look for the word that says tracking. Right under that, you'll see tracking origin type. Now, by default, it'll say eye level. You want to change that down to floor level. So click on where it says eye level and then select the four level option. Step eight, we're going to bring in the hands of Oculus into the scene. We have the camera set up, so if you were launching it with the Oculus headset, you'd be able to look around. We want to be able to interact as well. So let's go back to our assets folder. So you, right now, you probably left off in prefabs in the OVR folder. So we're going to click on assets at the top left of our project tab. And we're going to navigate down to OVR avatar. That folder is towards the far right. We're going to double click on that one. We're going to look for content. It's the first folder on the left. We're going to double click on content. And now you'll see another prefabs folder. That's the second one here. So double click on that. And now we're looking for local avatar. Step nine. Click on local avatar and drag it into the hierarchy tab of your scene. So we're going to click, I'm holding, and clicking and dragging into the left here in the hierarchy tab. And now you'll see another object fall in. And then you'll have it selected by default in the far right. You'll see over your avatar. This is what's going to show you your hands. It's going to show you the controllers. And this is what we'll use to pick up objects and shoot, shoot with the gun. Step 10, we're just going to make sure that the controls are present in the scene when we launch. So once you have local avatar selected, go to the far right in the inspector tab and look for the OVR avatar component. And towards the middle, you'll see this component, this little property that says start with controller. Make sure that that box is checked off. And there you have it. You're ready to start developing for Oculus and you have your scene prepared. So what we want to do is just save. Save the scene. You don't want to lose this. So we're going to go to the Top left, look for File, and just save the scene. And I'll just name this one Demo. And I click Save at the bottom right of that prompt. Now that you have Unity set up with Oculus, let's take a look and make sure it's working. I'm going to hit Play in the Unity Editor at the top, the little Play button. I'm going to get your headset on. We're in Unity. You should be able to see the controllers in the scene, see your hands, and look around. If you've gotten this working, you're ready to move on.